Hello, Midnight TCG members. This is Midnight Fox coming to you this week with Jim Zaki and Eddie alongside me for this week's Competitive Edge podcast. The Midnight Gamers are taking over. Go, Minion! <laughs> this week, we're going to be getting a little buggy. We're going to be discussing insects. But before we get into them, a quick shout out uh, to both of our tournaments that were held Tuesday. We finished off our Deck of the Month tournament. It was win, and it was actually an amazing game that ended it. It uh, was Coin versus Nomad. Nomad persisted through to the end with Winds of Pernicia, Poisonous Winds, trolling the tournament. It was pretty funny to watch, but uh, definitely mad props. It was, it was a good uh, Deck of the Month tournament. And the Flash tournament this past week was Zombies. The only thing was the Fox took spells out of the equation. Since we all know that zombies love magic to reanimate their corpses. And those were some very interesting matches. And we had XVI win the tournament this week. And Coin, I believe, came in second. So Kyo Yu got uh, dethroned for the week, so I know he'll be working hard to get back into his throne. But definitely want to start out, give these guys a shout out. Uh, I enjoyed watching the matches. I was kind of switching back and forth. They were really good matches. Everybody keep coming over, keep getting in these tournaments. The twists are what makes it interesting, and I mean, that's the feedback I get is that it's not like where you go everywhere and you're facing the same thing. You always see something new because you never know what I'm going to end up throwing at you. Hence, so this week's uh, twist is you can only use tokens. Yeah. <laughs> you never know what kind of twist I'm going to throw. And this is M6, so it could be interesting. I could be nice. We'll see. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, Kyo is going to be out for blood. <laughs> That's for That's dang like, sure. With uh, XDI taking out his uh, spot in the number one spot, he's definitely going to be looking for the win this week. Uh, <laughs> as I said, this week we're going to be talking about insects uh, as an overall type. Uh, so, as we've been doing. Hey, Eddie, we we're finally talking about you this week. <laughs> Yay, buggers! <laughs> yep, Eddie's just winging it this week. Yep. <laughs> He's quite Free-balling a boss. <laughs> Freeballing it, people. Woo-woo. <laughs> so, as we've been doing, kind of sticking with our outline of where we've been going week to week, seems like it's a pretty good formula. We'll start out with our uh, favorites, so... Starting with myself, I have to say, and this is just general overall game, not just the fact that it's an insect. One of my favorite cards in the game since I've been playing is Needleworm. So when I saw that he was re-released in Legendary Collection 3 as an ultra rare, the fox was thoroughly excited. Needleworm, just the ability to mill five. Yeah, the artwork's subpar, but the ability... Is amazing. Love it in zombie builds. Um, Pinch Hopper. The ability to go through there and search for special summons. I like Pinch Hopper. Yet again, another card that maybe doesn't have the greatest artwork, but his playability of being able to search out is very good. It's a... Uh, trying to think of what to compare it to uh he's kind of limited to insects but uh he worked really good in my ultimate insect deck pitch hopper did probably to wing it out i'm kind of torn between two for artwork's sake i would say giving tribute to weevil underwood insect queen was always a favorite but if I'm gonna go with ability wise and some decent artwork Doomdozer 
everybody, uh, I mean, that was pretty well a staple card back in the demise OTK days. But just the ability to remove a couple insects and have out a 2800 meter. Love me a Doom Dozer plus his secondary ability. Amazing card. So with that, pass it on to Jim Zaki. What's your uh, top faves? Um, yeah, I'd probably start off with, as you said, um, Doom Dozer. Um, fun little card. And it's a uh, counterpart, uh, Aztecapede the Worm Warrior. Two good special summon cards. Um, Especially now in the uh, Ixies days, they those could um, make for fun combos. Um, uh, Chainsaw Insect, because level 4, 2400 attack, really nice. And um, mention, because I love the name, Ant Eater Eating Ant. <laughs> I went to that sneak peek and I played that card and... <laughs> In, in a limited format, as in a sealed pack play, it's a fun card to play. I wouldn't say it's meta, but definitely if you're playing in a sealed pack, and that you know that was the Shadow of Infinity uh, sneak peek, it was quite an interesting card to play out. Yeah, because it's got that nice um, uh, spell trap destruction. It can't attack when it does so, but still. Nice. About you, Eddie? Me, I'm going to have to go with Drill Dozer. Oh, wait, no, no. Doom Dozer. Excuse me. I think Drill Dozer. Um, in uh, agreement. It's called being tired. Doom Dozer Shush. is awesome. <laughs> I am so tired. I'm like trying not to fall asleep. And I'm like, eh, screw it. Drill Dozer, I screwed up. Eh, screw it. Minions don't sleep, they get turned into Soylent Green. <laughs> and we just get fed to champions. That too. Stop feeding. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, Doom Dozer, obviously Maneater Bug being one of my personal old time originals, and one I didn't we hear mention. Mm hmm. A four star, twenty four hundred attack, freaking like beast in Chainsaw Insect. Jim mentioned that. I did. <laughs> oh, he did? See how much I'm paying attention? I'm so tired, I'm trying not to fall asleep. See? Screw ups. Yay, screw ups and crap falling out of my mouth. Anyway, next. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, as you guys can tell, this is probably going to be a pretty quick week. Um, staples. Uh, let's just put it out there plainly right now. If you were looking at insects as a whole, main, mainly your staples are going to run into insectors. Everybody in today's meta is pretty familiar with them, the ability to equip and recycle from the graveyard. So I'm not even going to waste my time going into Insectors. Uh, the news is out there, and they're fairly new, so people are really familiar with them. I want to look at, uh, if I'm going to look at staples, uh, I would look more at cards like... Uh, Basic Insect. Oh, Basic insect, right? <laughs> Chainsaw insect. You guys mentioned that um, he's good in skill drain, so he could be a good side item card. Uh, and also, if you're running Exodia, he plays into appropriate. So when your opponent gets to draw, you get to draw too. So, I mean, there's two kinds of decks that he could fit into, and with uh, Exodia picking up a little more steam with Jarrell playing it. At Worlds, uh, might see a little more play out of Chainsaw Insect. Um, if we would ever get Demise back, I would definitely say we would see Doom Dozer hitting big again. But uh, something I'm amazed people haven't looked at is an insect engine with um, Rescue Rabbit with Insect Knight. Uh, I mean, there's still plenty of viable options with the rabbit engine if you're not insistent that it absolutely has to be rabbit dino. I mean, like a insect knight, uh, you could almost run rabbit into an insector deck 
and run three insect knights in there. And then boom, instant roach. There you go. Although uh-huh. roach is a fiend. Ah. Uh, I got Jen this week. <laughs> but uh, that's that's the fox's take on staples. I mean, it's pretty short and sweet. The, they're not prevalent other than insectors, and I mean, everybody's very familiar with them, so I don't feel that there's an actual need to go over them in depth as to what each one does. Basically, everyone knows. The big loop to it is Hornet, back, Eddie. Mm-hmm. Hornet, Dragonfly, Centipede, and Hopper. Those four, you pretty much got a deck. It's, it's kind of like looking back at the original Black Wings. You could pretty much run the original Black Wings in Wing Beasts and have a deck. So with that, pass it on to Jim. What do you think are some decent staples? Um, I'm not entirely sure. We got, like I said, with Insectors, it's the main um, insect um, deck of the moment. I can't think of any other one. So the staples are pretty much. Anything insector based, um, obviously Doom Dozer is always splashable, but not particularly great uh, at the moment. Um, Chainsaw Insect for its um, ability to be uh, comboed. That's about it. You did mention Aztec Pete, and if I remember right, he's a level 4, so... Yeah, level 4, 1900 attack, special summoned um, by removing from play one insect from your graveyard. There's another way to abuse a rabbit. Drop two insect, or special summon two insect knights, and you've got one you can drop for an Xyz unit, and there's an Aztec Pete. There's so much special summon in there... But everybody's focused on insectors right now, so we'll let you guys listen to this. You start thinking some insect decks to run. Eddie, what about you? Hey, wait a minute. You can what? rescue rabbit uh, two insects into a roach. You didn't get me. No, I didn't say you couldn't do it into a roach. What I said is roach is not an insect. Roach. I never, I never claimed it was an insect. I said instant roach from that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> You're wrong. Yeah. Wrong. <laughs> All right, Eddie. Let's see. Staples for insects. Hmm. If you're running a skill drain based deck, of course you're gonna use Chainsaw Insect for his uh, power mainly. Uh, other than that, to be perfectly honest, I never was much of an insect user, so I'm kind of lost. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll kind of take this into broken then. Uh, right now, probably. Insectors. I mean, Period. it's probably going to be <laughs> <That's it. laughs> the prevalence of that. Um, although, I, I'm going to splash. I'm going to splash. Other than insectors, I'm going to splash needleworm in there. People would start using that again, especially with light sworn seeing more play. It's an easy way for a twilight or a light sworn deck to help them mill themselves out. I wouldn't say it'd be a main deck thing unless your whole deck was built around milling out your opponent, but definitely a side deck option. Um, I mean, it's not completely, but the ability to mill five cards, five cards is an eighth of your deck. If you run three, then you've just knocked out three eighths of your opponent's deck, as long as you get them all off. And. <sighs> Other than that, uh, I mean, basically, <laughs> without hitting insectors, uh, chainsaw insect probably. Like I said, uh, the splash ability and the skill drain decks. So I mean, that would actually fit into a malefic skill drain deck, as we've seen malefic skill drains been a pretty prevalent deck, but it mostly revolves around cards like grave keepers and Ancient Gear, Gajelton Dragon, and things like that. But 
the problem is, is people don't think of all the different combos you could take these decks other than just going with a certain way this deck's built. Okay, well, hmm, I'm going to run Gear Town and Ancient Gear Gajilton Dragon. I'm going to go that way with Malefic Skill Drain when there are multiple other ways to run uh, a Skill Drain deck. And like I said, Exodia. So that's my take on Broken. What about you, Jen? I think, it, yeah, pretty much it's what you said. Um, I would add on top of that um, the ever popular, super powerful Larva Moth. <laughs> Play down your Pettit Moth, throw on the Cocoon, wait two turns, and you've got a 500 attack beater. It's completely worth it. <laughs> I wish Insect Queen would have been more broken than she is. Yeah, a lot of. Um, what made her nice in the show didn't carry over to the card game. Yeah. They made her a sad queen. What about you, Eddie? <laughs> to be perfectly honest, Insectors, enough said. <laughs> and <laughs> That's the if you figure out a way to spam it, you can spam Unorm's effect like a boss. And uh, kind of rounding it out before we go into our... Uh, little promotion into the relay for life to end it uh best x past or present uh i'm gonna say if i was to go i'm gonna put two of them out there two uh number one in the past would have been uh my ultimate insect deck uh just the ability to quickly summon with the pinch toppers and stuff it was actually it ran the Doom Dozers and his Techapedes for special summons and the other abilities. It was a pretty decent deck. Right now, I've been fiddling with a mixture of a Insector deck that could side into Black Queens. It's not perfected yet, but it is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just leave it at that. What about you, Jen? Basic deck. Uh, basic Insect Turbo. Um, I mean, um, I used to run a Parasite Parasite deck. Um, that's about it. It's my uh, dip into insects. <laughs> parasite Parasite. It, it's a fun card. I'll give you that. It is a fun card. Yeah, if you can get it working, really fun. Um, the deck is definitely finicky, not very consistent. Um, well, I, I had fun with it, so. Well, that's what the whole game was supposed to be about was fun, and then some people took it too seriously. <laughs> about you, Eddie? Never played insects before, to be honest. Never really built an insect deck. So, really, I, I've got no say on the matter. What would you say... Just splashing in. Uh, if I could have a like a build, like just something I could just come out and just go like here. Let me try it. I'm gonna go with something along the lines of a uh, skill drain insect deck. Definitely, yeah. Just be that guy. <laughs> well, our uh, to our listeners, <laughs> insects pretty short and sweet. We all know right now. With the insect world, insectors are pretty much ruling this meta. Their their ability to equip, their ability to swarm, their ability to recycle out of the graveyard. That encompasses that whole insect engine without having to dabble into others. So thank you, Konami, for giving us another troll deck. Although I will say that it has not topped as consistently as other decks. So somewhere along the lines, Tommy seems to have sort of balanced out the deck a little bit. So a little bit of props there. They balanced the card somewhat to where it wasn't completely broken, but I'm sure we have more Insector support to come. Like after Black Wings took off so big, they just notice with a bunch of useless cards later but <laughs> that pretty much finishes off insects uh just a quick recap on uh 
Relay for Life. Want to tell everybody, get involved. Uh, there's many ways you can get involved on our board. Our default skin for the month is Anastasia. It's pink and black to show our support for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, in the important announcement section, $10 per entry. You get a raffle ticket, $10 per ticket. And right now we have a Insector Hornet mat. We have a Calcu Jotter, which is a calculator with a notepad and has a spot for a pen. And we have a Lost Sanctuary structure deck and a Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End IOC first edition that are going to be given away in a raffle. That's $10 per entry. None of this, I'll say this again, as I've said it many times, none of this is going to Midnight TCG. All of what you pay goes down to that little pink ribbon at the bottom, and it redirects to our Relay for Life page, where you go and make your donations to the Relay for Life to help the American Cancer Society in funding cancer research and to make more birthdays happen. Um, secondly, we have our duel against cancer. We're trying to get that trending on Twitter still, getting a lot of retweets. Want to give a shout out to people like Yakko Pinky, Mr. Rob Paulson, uh, Rob Van Dam, Yu-Gi-Oh! Toss, AKA Little Karibo, um, some of our top retweeters, uh, but that's $5 entry. Again, you go down there to that pink ribbon. You click on it, it takes you to our Relay for Life page. You make your donation, it's $5. You're in. You have me a deck list by October 31st, and the tournament's held November 1st. And the winner will get an Insector Centipede mat. Second place will get a Calcu Jotter. Um, all proceeds are going to Relay for Life, so you're dueling for a good cause. It's a really good thing. We want to thank Secret Agent Anna. She, uh, when we first started it, she made her own YouTube video and kind of popped us on that on where we're doing our duel against cancer. So everybody keep spreading the word. Get your friends to come in. Right now we've got three entrants. We've already raised $105. So we're definitely not doing horrible, but we could do much better. Um, Go into off topic, and we have Midnight Fox doing Gangnam Style for the Relay for Life. So the staff wanted to embarrass me. So if you want a good laugh, go watch a fat man try to dance. <laughs> I, I assure you, all of my staff are laughing, but there are a few who are donating per like. So you can hate my dancing, make a comment about it. But make sure you like it. It's going for a good cause. Every like it gets, they have to donate per like. So don't hit the dislike button. Just save it for the comments and say, hey, white boy, you lost your groove. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will admit it. Half of my life ago, 16 years ago, I probably could have pulled that off. But at 32, that was pretty scary to watch myself. <laughs> but I'm out there putting it out on all the social media outlets and to everyone I can, no matter how embarrassing it is. To me, it's for a good cause. I don't mind embarrassing myself and looking stupid if it goes to help something that's going to be good. And uh, you can also just donate if you want as far as cash-wise, or even if you can't afford to donate, Go down to the Midnight Literature section and do Donate and Tell a Story. Go in there and tell your story of how cancer's touched your life, whether it's been personally, whether it has been someone you know. In some way, shape, or form, just about everybody in the world's been touched by cancer. And the only way to raise awareness is to get your stories out. I mean, and, uh, I mean... If, if, you, if you do make a donation, you're going to get a midnight TCG demo uh, tag. And if you're a regular member, you're going to get a name Eddie, for feedback. Yay, I'm screwing things up. But uh, 
I mean, there's many ways. Whether if you can't afford money, go like the YouTube video, donate a story. If you can't afford money, you want a chance to win some prizes, hit the raffle. If you can't afford money and you like to duel, go go to our duel against cancer. Spread the word out. Let everyone know. We really want to make this big, and we want to be able to do something really good for the Relay for Life. So just look forward to you guys helping us uh, make this a success. Keep visiting the site. Keep listening to the podcast. Watch out Tuesday, and you'll see what kind of twist I'll have for the Flash Tournament. And with that, uh, we'll just say we're going to bug out for the night. Hey, Cracker. You threw off the Emperor's groove.